In this class, we are going to learn how to design such kind of layout in your Visual Builder application page. That is, when I click on the button over here, that is add new phone, it is creating a new record over here in the table, wherein I can select what kind of information I want to fill for the phone like the home, I can enter the new number over here plus 91 and followed by some number. Again, if I want to add one more number like the office number, I will be able to add following ways. Also, I will be able to delete the details like if I want to delete any unused office number or so and so forth things, I will be able to delete the same with the help of page. Whatever you see over here, that is in the tabular fashion, this is not the table component. I will tell you what this component is and how you can manipulate the layout in the Visual Builder application and you can create an illusion of a table with the help of some other component. I have created this simple application in Oracle Visual Builder wherein I am having only one page created over here in the main flow under my web app. Let me just minimize this. First and the foremost thing is layout with the help of which I have displayed the information in the tabular fashion. The thing what to note over here is the component which I have used over here. This is not the table component, but it will look like a table component for you. If I scroll down and show you, I have made use of the for each loop over here. So for each loop, I am iterating over the ADP variable in which I am having three records or the objects in this ADP or the array. So this is iterating over the ADP. Once it finds the number of records available in the array, it will list the details like over here I have used the select single component and the input text. Also I am using one button in order to delete the records. So in order to begin with, first of all we have to create the types in order to hold the information. I have created couple of types over here. One is the contact details. It is of type object and it is carrying three fields. One is the ID of type number. You can look at the icons over here next to the field name that is this is the number phone number is a string and the type is also a string second type what i have created is a phone type that is the label and the value this is basically carrying the information like a home office and the mobile what you see over here in the lov so for that purpose i have created the phone type so contact details is the information whatever we select it will go into the contact details like here we are having three details for our contact so this will go into the contact details we have created the type so based on the types i have created couple of variables over here first is this default contacts array this is of type array if you see over here next is i have selected the contact details type which i have created and it is carrying this default information in your case if you are getting this information from some rest service then you can skip this creating array variable wherein i am populating this value directly you can go for the adp and in the action chain you can assign the values i will tell you where you have to do the same so in this case what i have done is i have created the array variable that is of type contact details and i am populating a dummy or the default value over here like i'm having three records one is office information mobile information and the home information for our phone another variable which i've created is mobile type array so this will be holding the details for phone type as i told i'm having three categories of phone type that is the mobile home and the office so whatever you see over here so this information i'm populating in a default value that is in the mobile type array this is a variable of type array which is based on the phone type so we have created an array as i told i'm not getting the data from some rest service i have created this array in order to hold the default value so based on this array what i'm trying to do is i have created one adp variable so this adp variable is basically in order to hold the array of information of contact details so whatever information i have populated over here under the default value for contacts array variable so this i am assigning over here in the adp variable i have created this contact details adp of the type array data provider Next, we have to say bind data to variable. Suppose if you are getting data from a REST service or some other business object or so and so forth things, you have to go for assign data later. So if you are holding the data in a variable, then we have to tell bind the data to a variable and we have to select the variable name. This is our variable in which we have the data. Type is the contact details type based on which this array is there and the key attribute is ID. So you might get a question like why we are creating this array wherein we are populating some dummy data, why not we are directly creating the ADP. If we create the ADP, we don't have an option to populate the default value. As I told, I'm not getting this data from anywhere. I'm having a static value. So in the array type of variable, we are having option for populating the default value. In the ADP, we don't have such option. So we have to create an array at the default value and then map this ADP to the array value. I have created this mobile types ADP. So which I have mapped over here to the mobile types array and which is of type phone type. So this mobile types array, it is basically holding the information of the phone type like the home office or if it is for mobile so this is the first thing which you have to create next we have to create the ui and let's come to the ui part over here i have basically dropped over here a button component if you see over here the button i have added and i'm populating the 
label over here as add new phone. I have created the event like when I click on the add new phone, it is creating a row. So let me go to that event part now. Click on this insert row action chain. So first what I am trying to do is whenever I click on the button, it will make a call to this action chain or it will start an action chain. I am going for the muted option that is contact details NDP based on which this for each loop component is populating this table information. As I told, my contact details ADP is mapped to the my contacts array variable which holds the default value for this details. Like I am having a three contact details in my ADP or in the array. So I am telling when I click on the add new button, it has to modify this ADP and it has to add one more row. Like when I click on this add new phone, it is creating one more row in the ADP. So when we click on that add new phone, what it does is it will mutate that ADP and it will add the information like it is adding the data. So since ID is the key attribute in our ADP, we are passing just the ID. So new record ID, I will tell you what it is. I have created a variable. So every record, if you see in a database or any type of database in your application, every row will have a unique ID. So this is for that purpose. So we are just making a new record ID as an identifier for each record and we are not displaying over here. But internally we are having this option that is to store the identifier. And the key we are saying, so this is the key. That is ID what we have generated newly. And the indexes, what I'm saying is add this to the zeroth index. So that's it. And next is once we assign the new record ID, what we are doing is we are decrementing this. Usually we will increment. I have used this decrement. Why? Because while creating a variable, I have given the higher or the upper index for the new record ID. That is the default value. I have given the 10,000. Suppose if I have given it as zero, then what you can do is we can just increment new record ID plus one. So when we click on this new button, it is adding a row to the ADP. It is decrementing the new record ID that is 10,000 minus one, so and so forth things. And it is creating a new record in our ADP. Next in the component, we have added over here the for each. So for each, what we have done is I have iterating over the contact details ADP. Suppose when I click on new, it is adding one more record into the ADP and it is showing over here in the tabular fashion. So based on the number of objects available in that ADP variable, it will show the number of rows over here. So within each row, what I have done is I have added the panel over here within the template. So we have to manipulate this every record in the for each component with the template because we will be able to add multiple segments over here. Even we can add the table component over here and display the table information as well. So all those flexibilities we can achieve with the help of this for each component. So first is a select single component I have dropped over here with the help of which we are getting an option to select the phone type. So here I am attaching this to a mobile types ADP. As I told, this ADP is holding information for the phone type, like if it is a mobile home or based on the selection, what it does is it will store the value in this phone type that is current data dot for type that is for each record. As I told, this table information is from the ADP variable that is contact details ADP. When we click on the button, it is creating an empty record. And when we make the selection from here drop down, then it will assign the details. I have created the event. I will come to the event part later. Coming to the phone number, we can add the phone number as soon as we tab out, it will update in the ADP. And we can click on this new phone and we can go ahead adding new phones and we can delete. Now coming to the events, for both the components over here, select single and the text, I have created the event. Basically what it does is when we click on add new phone over here, it is creating an empty record in the contact details ADP only by only updating the ID. That is by decrementing the new record count. When we make a selection, what it has to do is, since ID information is already there, phone number and the phone type information will be undefined. So when we make a selection, those things will be updated in the ADP. If I show you this contact details array, here we are having three information. One is ID, phone type and the number. So when we click on add new number, only ID information will be updated, phone type and number we are not updating. We can look at the action chain in which I have added the mutate and add operation. So when the user selects something from here, then only those information will be updated in that particular ADP object. So those information we are updating with the help of this action chain. Whenever a user makes a selection or enters the text into the phone number, first thing what we are doing is we are creating an object that is the JSON object that is array. So when this action chain is called, that row ID will refer to the ADP's ID for that particular record. Next phone number, we are updating what the user has updated in that particular row in a table. Next is the phone type. So whatever user updates, it will be updated over here. And next is the fire data event. Whenever we make a changes to any ADP, we have to just mutate and this time we have to tell update. Since the information is already there in the ADP, we are just telling update that particular record. Based on the ID, that is the record ID, it will go and update that particular record with the phone number and the type. Coming to the last thing, that is the delete. 
So this is used to delete that particular row. Now coming to the event, I have created an event over here. So only thing what I have to do is I have to make use of this fire data provider event, mutate this ADP variable and I have to just tell remove and how to pass the key. This time I'm not passing the data, this time I'm passing the key. That is variable dot row ID. Based on that particular ID, it will find which ID it is and it will delete the ADP record because our ADP key identifier is ID if you see over here. So like this, we can build a page something like this with the help of Visual Builder application. So this is not a table, but it will create an illusion as if you are working with the table component in Visual Builder application. I have got this source code from the vbcookbook.oracle.com. You can just search for the many editable row recipe and you can just click on this download. It will download the .zip file. You can import into a Visual Builder application and you can see how they have built this cookbook application. Also, if you are stuck somewhere, you can go to this note by Oracle and you can achieve the use case that is how you can create the type, how you can create a variable, how you can create the user interface and coming to the last thing that is creating the action chain. So at the end, you will be able to design the page something like this.